are fleshlings, for destiny is at hand! <laughs> this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and I'm now setting my sights on the other half of Siege's initial Voyager wave, Megatron. The one that one could say is the other half of the Cybertronian Civil War. Optimus Prime's other half in the family that is the Senate of IDW's second continuity. I'm trying to hype myself up. This figure's nowhere near as good as his wave mate. Did you see Toy Fair? Painting with a broad brush, he's coming out like two more times at least. This is still something to talk about. This is still relevant even here in early 2020. That and I, I, I do what I want. I make whatever videos I want. What are you gonna do about it? Megatron does look pretty solid at first blush in his bipedal political power playing robot mode, fully rocking the current flavor of smashing the G1 bot design together with a brickish tank mode. This is Megatron with a suspect and tread laden backpack. His silhouette is power and his eyebrow triangles are fierce. The siege splatter is rather mundane on this one, either quietly weathering some dark spots or somehow being very hard to see on gray parts while also making them look unpleasantly dirty. I really wish this stuff had avoided the large flat spaces like his chest, and instead been focused around all the hard edges present on the piece, like the edges of his chest. Megatron's got two weapons, his contractually obligated Fusino cannon, I'm leaving that typo in the script, and a sword that's clearly wrapped around another cannon. These gizmos and other 5mm pegged chicanery can be plastered about Megatron's body with hard points located in what kind of become uniform locations across a lot of the siege line. He's also got a few small pegs for adding a affect parts as per the siege play pattern's demands. Unfortunately, while the sword looks transformable, it never really stops having giant blade pieces hanging off of it. You can kind of reveal the cannon barrel, I guess. I just wish they'd been able to fold away and provide a more satisfying gun sword experience. So Voyager Siege Optimus hit a whole bunch of articulation points. Voyager Siege Megatron certainly has articulation. His head is on a ball socket joint. It can, uh, it can without the thing, look up pretty well, but doesn't always hold position. He can look left and right, and it tightens the ball joint as he does so. No real tilt, but this stupid, this platform sucks. He just, he looks like a moron. Look at this, look at this grand emperor of destruction over here, looking super smart. Okay, so his shoulders are another bummer, because they're high up here, right? So when you move them forwards and backwards, it's fine, but the axis is weird. The axis is up here. It's like the return, kind of, of Combiner Wars Leader Megatron. It's better, but it's still kind of annoying. The outward motion is fine, though, as is the bicep swivel. The elbow bend is 90 degrees of fun. No wrist swivel, but you can use the transformation joint to curl them in a bit if you want them to be, like, doing a little teapot thing. His waist joint swivels. His hips can kick forwards and backwards as you do full Van Damme possibilities, probably thanks to the transformation. There's a thigh swivel on a mushroom peg, his knee bends 90 degrees, and uh, his heels, this is very useful, they can click down, it's basically untransforming them, but this helps a lot, I find, in getting him to have a, a sort of bipod foot that can make him look a little bit less stocky when he's standing around. There's also an ankle tilt, it feels really janky though. <laughs> it clicks in there. It, I don't like how it feels. I don't like this ankle tilt very much. It's functional, it just doesn't make me uh, confident. And th that's kind of the thing with this guy's articulation. It's fine, it just doesn't make me feel confident. And especially in comparison to the Optimus that came out in Wave 1 as well, uh, it just ain't there. It, it ain't bringing it as hard. Transforming Megatron into a tank is not a terrible experience, but it absolutely is not the Siege Voyager Optimus experience, either. In fact, I find the backpack and torso stuff to all be kinda clunky, with a propensity for parts collision that always feels a little bit like I'm jiggling our little man until he works himself into position. I don't even mind plugging the sword in as a turret cannon extension. The legs are much easier, and there are locking tabs throughout. Like I said, it's just nowhere near the same ballpark as the very toy Megatron shipped alongside. And I dare say Megatron had an easier space to work with. 
he doesn't really have to compact so much as he has to flatten, and I feel like mass-wise that's less work to do. Am I padding time because I want to make this transformation have a nice montage? Could be. In the edit, I'll discover whether I needed this extra audio. But hey, among Megatron tanks, this one ain't bad. It's very H-Tank, though I do like the spot of extra armor up front to avoid the whole face-down squatting man syndrome that H-Tanks often attract. In fact, it makes it a bit less of an H overall with that filler on the top. Someday we'll have an A-Tank, I'm sure. It's meaty in hand, and the color layout is a solid delivery. I am surprised how much the spots of red do to lift the whole thing up in my eyes. Megatron rolls nicely in this mode with them little wheels on them treads, but his turret? While I did say I don't mind the extended cannon deal, it kind of points slightly down. Only slightly. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. And while I'm so happy the turret can swivel left and right without enormously impeding the robot mode outside of slightly weird shoulder axes, I do rather wish the long and slender shaft of fusion could tilt up a spicy 17 degrees or so as well. So Siege Megatron is a slightly flawed, kinda neat, sorta okay Voyager who shipped with one of the best Optimus Prime Voyagers in the last few years. It's hard not to color my opinion on him due to that, even a year or so later, especially when that year brought a few more solid Voyager toys that also all did better at being Voyagers than Megatron. I like those Decepticon alt modes. Thankfully, my biggest problem, the floppy neck flap, appears to not be as much of an issue on literally every other version of the toy. And there are a few versions from Generation Selects to Cell Shaded 30th Anniversary to the very recent Netflix-branded Redeco, and possibly the Earthrise Voyager Megatron 2, who does not appear to be doing any of the transformative magic found in that line's own retake on Optimus Prime. But hey, at least that keeps this video more relevant than I thought it would be in 2020. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and to be honest, I'm more interested in just throwing out a quick check to make sure you're all staying safe as you can and taking as few risks as possible. You know who doesn't do any of that? Siege Megatron. And yet, his head keeps collapsing into his own chest. Moral of the story? Wash your hands.